Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to another video. It's your girl Michelle also known as Simply Shell. Today I'm going to be opening up and revealing some of my insecurities to you guys. I kind of prolonged this video for quite some time only because of me being afraid to talk about the things that I do not like about myself. But in all reality we all have something that we don't like about ourselves. Something that we wish could be adjusted or altered and that's okay. And so today I'm going to open up to you guys and let you guys know some of my insecurities and flaws about myself and how I learn to deal with it if you have ever had any type of insecurity something that made you feel less than as a person feel free to comment that down below and share with me some of your flaws and some of your things that make you feel uncomfortable about yourself also please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and don't forget to turn your bell on so you never miss when I upload a video so with that being said I'm gonna jump into my first insecurity this is something that has been really hard for me even as a young child into an adult and that would be my chest size I have always had a small chest size as a child and I thought that that would change for me as I grew up you know as I got older and I developed which never really happened for me I literally avoid looking at myself in the mirror when it comes to that area especially when getting out the shower or even putting my clothes on because they're not full enough I always felt like I was a boy I always compared myself to other girls in middle school because some of them were more blossomed than me and I was just like okay when is my time coming I'm sitting here waiting puberty done came and left and I'm still looking like a whole little boy that really started to affect me mentally because not only did i feel less than but i felt like i wasn't normal like other girls in my mind i'm thinking women are supposed to have breasts i mean that that's what makes you feel like a woman i have never been able to experience what that feels like to have more than what i've been given and it's always a struggle it makes me feel ugly it makes me feel like i'm not a woman especially nowadays when you look at social media all you see are women that have the perfect body image and i feel like that definitely makes it much harder for me when i am an influencer and i do post my pictures without exposing myself too much and feeling like why am i not getting as many likes or recognition because i don't have that i feel like i have tried everything down to stuffing my bras i try to change my diet i've read up on you know eating certain things to help your cup size grow you know, bras to try to make me look fuller than what i was and it just wasn't working out because there was nothing to even fill in the cups it was just like a gap and i never was able to just have that you know cleavage have enough fat around to make me feel like i am a woman everything is sex sells nowadays so if you're showing more if you're thicker if you have you know that nice backside then you're going to get more recognition as opposed to somebody who is petite doesn't have much to look at pretty face but that's all you really have to offer and that's what i started to feel like i wasn't a woman especially in my relationships that really took a toll on me very insecure when dealing with a man and having to be intimate i would always feel like i needed to keep my shirt on afraid to you know just show myself because i knew that I was so ashamed to what was underneath that shirt and I was afraid that that was going to turn that person off. I never really experienced, you know, any negative backlash from a man, but I know in my mind that they wish, you know, that I did have more to offer. It became even worse after having children. I have three children and as you know that once you have children, your body changes drastically. So my cup size grew, it, it, it expanded when being pregnant. And breastfeeding took, definitely took a toll on it, which then left me with an even worse situation than when I started. But just really can affect you. When you start to have insecurities like that, you start to become angry. Your self-esteem starts to lessen. You don't want to expose yourself. You don't want to be around people because you're afraid of negative comments. What people will think about you because you're not secure with yourself all, all in all. Till this day, this is something that I struggle with. I am very unhappy with the chest size that i have i wish that i could change it yes i have thought many times about surgery but i'm a big chicken when it comes to that and when i do research hearing horror stories of what can happen when you do go you know for these procedures made me take a step back and say you know what i don't know about this maybe there's another alternative i'm not here to knock anybody because i feel like at the end of the day if there's something about you that you don't like that doesn't make you feel good about yourself then be my guest do what makes you feel happy and if surgery is something that is an easier route for you then i say go for it do your research be safe about it but i just felt like that wasn't the right choice for me 
my second insecurity is my nose this is one of the biggest insecurities that i have because it's my face it's something that people always look at when they're talking to me it's something that i look at when i'm talking to me in the mirror it's something that i try to avoid and i honestly didn't know this is something that i do as a, like a protection or whenever i'm talking but even down to recording videos taking a picture i always have the tendency of turning to the side when i am addressing the camera you know taking a picture or whatever the case may be because i just hate the way my nose looks i have a whole bunch of mixture in my blood so i understand the shape i got the shape of my nose from my mother and my father who both have you know that fairly pointy nose you know i have a little bit of irish a little bit german in me a little bit of this a little bit of that and okay this is the way that god made me but I have been made fun of about my nose many times growing up as a child people would always would say oh Michelle you got a big nose and it started to affect me and I would spend hours in the mirror wishing that I could flatten this or take the bone out or how can I make my nose look better and I felt like my strongest side or my side where I feel the prettiest is when I turn to the left when I turn to the right I, 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 I despise it I feel like my nose is just ill proportion it's just too long it's just not supposed to be on my body and these are the things that really they will affect you and the reason why i'm talking about this now is because i'm learning each day how to deal with these things i want to talk about the real and the raw not perfection because we're not perfect there's people that make it seem like they're perfect they put on a facade and it's easy to pretend somebody like me you may look at me and think you know when you look at my instagram pictures or even on youtube i have a high self-esteem that's all in making myself feel better but at the end of the day when I'm by myself I'm looking at myself I'm putting myself down I'm wishing I can make myself look different insecurities are something that we all face whether we think we have none or not there's always something one thing that we wish that was different about us that's just what it is on so. to the last insecurity this is something that doesn't particularly have to do with my body but my mind so having mental illness battling with anxiety and panic attacks is something that always makes me feel like i just want to hide from the world i just want to run away from people especially when you don't feel like you're normal constantly dealing with something that you can't really control and you're trying to fight through it but you just can't it keeps coming and attacking you and you just feel like why can't i be like other people why are these tasks that I need to do today so much harder for me and that other person can do it. Why am I afraid to go into the store? Why am I afraid to do this? Why am I always worrying and overthinking too much? These are the things that make me feel very insecure, stifle my life at times, making me feel like I'm stuck because I'm afraid to do certain things because I deal with this. The hardest thing for me is being in a relationship and you know when i'm good i'm good but when when this is happening to me how is this affecting my partner are they going to accept it are they going to leave me because i can't control this these are the things that make me feel like will i ever really experience love because this is something that comes with me this is something that i didn't ask for it's kind of like an up and down battle and it, it, it just really makes you look at yourself and not appreciate yourself and down yourself and think of all of the things about yourself that that you wish weren't there what you wish you could fix and, and and become miserable you start to stay either stay away from people or you start to be mean to people you start to shift into negative behavior because you're not solely fully happy within yourself and that's something that i had to learn those three things are my top three insecurities and i wanted to be able to talk to somebody today because i know that it's not easy having something about you that you don't like especially if it's something that's not a quick fix if we could just snap our fingers and make it how we wanted it to be then i feel like the world would be a happier place but i feel like we are all made in a different way that makes us unique i'm learning to not compare myself to other people and even till this day i critique myself i feel like i'm my own biggest critic you know what I mean and that's the worst but I feel like if I'm able to criticize myself enough when somebody else says it it won't hurt me as bad because I already did the worst to myself so I kind of practice those bad behaviors only because I was trying to make it seem like I'm okay you know in all reality it just made me miserable but I'm learning to accept the flaws that's the first thing that we need to do is accept that we're not going to be like everybody and we can do things to make ourselves look better we can adjust our body I find that when you fix one thing you start to notice something else so i'm trying to learn how to accept me for all that i am and all that i look like some of the things that i started to do was every time i would say something negative about myself i would try to find something good about myself even if i didn't want to say it, even if, if it didn't have to do with my body something that is good about me speak life into me i started to want to look at myself more in the mirror instead of skeeving myself or looking at the imperfections i started to go full force at it and accept it 
when I look at my breasts. Instead of me cringing, I'm learning how to try to embrace that this is the cup size that I have. Maybe I wouldn't look good with double Ds. Maybe I would look crazy. This is the way that God wants my nose to be. It makes me look unique. It, it makes me stand out more. It makes me look, you know, more distinctive. My anxiety is something that is teaching me how to feel. Teaching me that it's okay to feel. It's okay to think. It's okay to... To, to worry, it's okay to get my feelings out. I'm trying to turn all the negativity that I feel about myself and turn it into a positive. And it is so, so, so hard, especially when you constantly compare yourself and you see social media. I can't stress this enough. I feel like social media, music videos, and models, and all these beautiful women and beautiful men that are around us, we look at them like they're so perfect. But I'm here to tell you that they have imperfections too. They just cover it up. They Photoshop. They get their bodies done. Make themselves feel like how they feel. And I'm pretty sure they don't feel 100% confident about ourselves because we're not perfect. We all come with flaws and that's just what makes us unique. We all have something different about us. I wanted to make this video because I know that there's somebody out there like myself who is beating themselves up every day, who hide behind their imperfections. And I feel like doing YouTube has also made me step out of my comfort zone and accept the flaws that I have because I'm on here recording in front of thousands of people all the time. And trust and believe, there are many people that do not say nice things to me, but there are also really good people. And I find that the people who have the most negative things to say, those are the people who don't know themselves. Those are the people who are unhappy. So when you're unhappy, it's so easy to attack somebody else. So almost like a relief because now you don't have to worry about you you're able to affect somebody else and bring them down and I hate to say that but that's just the way the world works hurt people hurt people and that's just the way it is and I would never be able to the way I feel and look at myself I don't think I would ever be able to voice that or express that and write that underneath somebody's picture or video to break their spirits because I know how hard it is how much it takes to actually get the self-confidence to build myself up. So I would never want to take that from somebody who's trying to love themselves. To love yourself is the most hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. I thought life was a piece of cake and it wasn't until I got older to understand what it is and how much effort it really takes to love yourself. It takes a lot of effort because some days you just won't feel like yourself. Some days you'll look at yourself and disgust. And then you have other people around you in your circle who make you feel just as bad. You have to learn to accept who you are. You have to tell yourself that you're beautiful. Just become aware of what your insecurity is. If you need to write it down, write it down and ask yourself why this bothers you the most. What makes you feel so bad about your insecurity? You have to realize and we have to understand where do these insecurities come from? I feel like insecurities don't just pop up. I feel like there has been experiences or somebody has said something to start to make us feel like that. That's the problem because you have to go back to a time, to that place, to that day when you started to feel insecure and what made you feel that way? What was the cause and how it made you feel? But go back to that same place, that same experience. And if you loved yourself, how would you handle that situation now? What would you tell yourself? What would you tell your confident self? Somebody making you feel a way, how would you handle it if you loved yourself? That's how you have to look at it. That's how you have to train your mind and that's, that'll be a way for you to practice and to become more aware of it and to accept yourself for who you really are. I feel like it's easier to cover it up, hide it, than to dive right into it because it's easier to hide something because you don't have to talk about it. We tend to run from things that make us feel uncomfortable. It's easier to hide from it than to face it. That That's was something that I was doing. I kept trying to avoid it and pretend that I was okay. It was only eating me up inside. So talk about it, become aware of what the insecurity is and address it. Talk to it, speak about it. Once you accept you, nothing or anyone around you can break you. You will have so much confidence that those naysayers and those negative comments and what he says and what she says, they will have, they will hold no weight. Hell, if you need to get that surgery to make you feel better, solely make you feel good, because at the end of the day, our happiness is all that matters, then go for it. But I'm learning to accept me for me, even though it's hard. There's gonna be many more things that I don't like about myself, but I know that my imperfections, what you see on the outside has nothing to do with who I am inside as a person, and so, if people judge you off of how you look, then they have the issue. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love me, I'm beautiful. Even if nobody else tells you that, practice waking up every day and speak life into you. Even when nobody else speaks good, good to you, compliments you, you need to do it because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. When nobody else is around, 
who do you have you need to give yourself that love and once you learn to give yourself that love and practice that and don't be ashamed to look at yourself whatever it is that you have whether it's stretch marks or you feel like your butt your butt's too big or you feel like you're too skinny or you feel like you're too fat feel like your lips are too thin or whatever the case may be look at yourself and say to yourself i am me for you for a reason you don't need to compare yourself to them so it makes us unique that's why we stand out because we don't look like everybody and so that's why i wanted to do this video because i feel like a lot of young people even adults you know suffer with low self-esteem and that then takes a toll on your life not only does it take a toll on your mental health but it takes a toll on your life your everyday living you don't want to go out you don't want to show your face you don't want to be around people because you're afraid of that i'm here to tell you that you're beautiful love yourself each day is still process and it's still a struggle for me but I'm learning to accept me for me and that's something that you have to want to accept as well so i hope this video helped you i hope it makes you feel a little better comment down below some insecurities that you do have feel free to you know leave some nice comments to one another down below we need to support each other that's the that's one of the biggest issues supporting each other and making each other feel better about ourselves instead of downing each other that's what's wrong with society everybody always has something negative to say whether you're doing good you're doing bad whether you get your your body done or you don't somebody's still gonna come around and try to break your spirit so with that being said love yourself appreciate yourself for who you are you are perfect just the way you are don't let anybody dim your light i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to click that bell so you never miss when i upload you guys all so much and i'll see you in the next video